Let me tell you about a natural high. Listen, word up. Uh, the ultimate natural high is catching an alley oop when the, all of the marbles are on the line, when all of the money is on the line, you know what I'm saying? You plant a yard full of killers, notorious kidnappers and drug dealers, the worst of the worst in the penitentiary. Because that's where all the bullshit go down at in the, in, the, in the penitentiary. All of the movers and shakers, the who's who, they hang on the basketball court. You know what I mean? That's where all of the, you know, the bullshit go down at. Again, <laughs> shit, but boom. The ultimate high is... You playing in a game, the penitentiary fucking night yard in the summertime. It's like fucking Rucker Park, my man. You know what I'm saying? You want to see some shit? You want a nigga? You want to see a nigga get his ankles broke? You know what I'm saying? And the fucking meat wagon have to come get him. The medical people have to come get him with the little wagon because he can't walk. You want to see a nigga get his fucking ankles really broke, snapped? Right on the spot, you want to see a motherfucker get tomahawk dunked on, you know what I mean, and then pushed to the pavement, you know what I mean. You want to see a mo- you want to see some some shit. I'm telling you, the ultimate the the, the ultimate shit that the, the the highlight of the whole fucking basketball shit is catching a fucking oop in the game in the yard and shit. You know what I'm saying, like, cause motherfuckers go crazy. You know what I'm saying, and you niggas know. You niggas know that any anybody that ever seen that shit, anybody ever been a part of that shit, or anybody that know me, know what happens. You know what I mean? When them lobs go up, you know what I mean? I was like a UFO in the penitentiary. I was an unidentified flying object and shit. Boom! You know what I'm saying? Everybody, that's what I'm known for. Dunking. You know what I mean? That's what I do. These niggas, niggas like me exist. You know what I'm saying? You ever hear Jada Kiss say it's a nigga north better than Jordan who didn't get that break? I pill I played against a thousand Michael Jordan caliber niggas. And I mean it. All the time I did, I'm telling you, everybody that you'd never heard about, like if you go to go to the guys that made it. Go to the guys, these bad muffins, go to Kobe Bryant and go to LeBron James. And maybe even Michael Jordan. Go to the best, whoever the best basketball player in the world is. And he going to tell you, he going to say, you think I'm a bad motherfucker? You should have seen Smooth Joe from 25th Street. You know what I mean? Or it's going to be some shit like that. It's going to be about a nigga who might have did a bank robbery or caught a rape or some, some old stupid shit, drug case, whatever. But was the ultimate basketball superstar. You know what I mean? That's where all of the most dynamic talent is at in the prison system. And you looking at me. You know what I'm saying? Six foot two. You know what I mean? I'm in my late 30s now. I still get up. I'm a penitentiary dunker. I'm a legendary Pennsylvania Penitentiary dunker and shit. If I was in an institution with you, you know me. Y'all remember me. Y'all know what I do. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be uh, correctional officers from Albion or maybe some of the jails I'd have been who might see this and be like, yeah, I remember him. You know what I'm saying? He broke the rim on D block or I had to. I used to get uh, threatened with write-ups and shit. That's destroying prison fucking property. When you tear motherfuckers' rims off the backboard, that's destroying prison property. You know what I mean? After you done did it a couple of times, after you done cracked somebody's motherfucking backboard, or, you know what I mean? After you done damaged some motherfucking bodies, the supports and shit, they get this, hey man, you want a cash slip? You're going to have to pay for this shit. You got to settle down and shit. But I'm just, I'm just telling you, about you know what it was that I with my I, I know y'all have seen all of the killers. I was a killer in jail. I was the best rapper in jail. You dig what I'm saying? Me. I'm a notorious point guard from the Pennsylvania prison system. You dig what I'm saying? I should have went to Division One. I, I should have went to the N- NBA, like a lot of niggas. But all my greatest highlights were in the yard and prisons all through Pennsylvania. You know what I mean? I dunked on niggas in state boots. 
You know what I'm saying? Boots. I dumped, dunked on niggas in them Gilligan shits that you, they give you when you're in the clinic. Like, as soon as I would get to any jail, you know what I'm saying, I was the most talked about shit in the jail. As soon as I got there, because niggas knew me from other institutions or niggas had seen me play or niggas was in juvenile joints with me. I've been locked up all my life and shit. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I would come in, the, in, in, a, in, a jail, in a jail, you know what I mean, whether it was transport, uh, any, any jail I stepped in, as soon as I would step in the fucking, in, in the chow hall, you'd hear, yo, yo, Erie, hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, Billy, yo, Mel. What's up? And I'm like, damn, who the fuck is that? And it's a nigga I dunked on two years ago. Or a nigga who seen me catch some shit off the rim, you know, when I was maybe 16 or 17 or some shit. But I know this shit going to do numbers. I know the views is going to go off the fucking charts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all comment below on the, the baddest motherfucker from your neighborhood you seen play basketball. I'm just saying, I didn't get that break. I'm in multimedia now. I do Gully TV. That's who I am. But the first thing, you know, I thought of when I had to come up with some media was this ultimate story about a penitentiary basketball legend. And that's me. And my number, DF5973. And you niggas know... Every jail I went to, whoever y'all put up against me, I killed him. Only nigga who I flat out couldn't do nothing with in prison was a nigga named Ty Stills. Tyrone Stills. And he was from like Beaver Falls, PA, PA or Newcastle or some shit. He's from, you know, outside of Pittsburgh. But this nigga was 6'8 six, six or 6'9 or some shit. You dig what I'm saying? I was six fucking one in the penitentiary. And six one and a half or something like that. And you ask about numbers. I used to make niggas pay me to get in the intramural league. Like they would have a draft, a lottery and shit. Whatever jail I'm in, they take my name off the, out the hat. They take my name out the hat because whoever the most dangerous niggas in the jail they want me on their team, you know, whoever the killer niggas, whoever the, the niggas that run the jail, whoever got the most drug money, whoever got the most money in jail, they be having basketball teams and shit. And they just tell me, Flat out, you ain't got to play, we're going to buy you some sneakers. I mean, you ain't got to be in the draft. You, you, you run it with us. We're going to buy you some sneakers. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get we're going to give you probably like 10, 10 cartons of cigarettes. That's 60 packs of shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't even, you know, remember the, the math system because I will tell you how much that was worth. We're going to give you 10, 10 cartons, 10, 15 cartons of cigarettes. We're going to buy you some new sneakers. You know, you got to have whatever. With all of the amenities, weed to smoke, all of the amenities, all of the three-way phones I want to use, all the cell phones, all of the amenities possible was given to me just so I could play basketball all through the prison system. And if I'm lying, I'm flying. I'm if I'm lying, I'm flying. And y'all know I do the flying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. My name's Jamil Lindsay. You know what I'm saying? I'm 36. You know what I mean? I can't I was in I was all through the pen through the 90s, the mid 90s, the 90s, and, and the early I maxed out of the state penal prison system in 2004. And numbers, every jail I went to ask about me. Millie. One. See, niggas don't even got them. That's a relic from the prison system and shit. Like I said, I was a basketball star. You see that shit said Northeast Division. That means we beat Dallas. Dallas Penitentiary. And everybody who know what this means know Dallas won that shit over there like 10, 12 years in a row. They came to our gym, up retreat, we pressed them and we beat them by 39 points. You know what I'm saying? If you got your ass, if you was on that Dallas squad, who got their ass whooped that retreat? Y'all remember me? I was number twenty-one. You know what I mean? Uh, y'all have Mark Allen. That's a prison legend. If y'all know me, y'all know about Mark Allen, superstar basketball nigga. He was from like Norristown, PA, or Chester. He was from over that side of Pennsylvania. That side of Pennsylvania is famous for basketball players. Richard Hamilton from over there. Kobe Bryant from over there. Uh, just a little nigga. Went to St. Joe's. He played for Orlando Magic now. I can't remember his name and shit. He was like player of the year, little scoring machine. See this? This is a relic. Jamil Lindsay. 
State Correctional Institution at Retreat Varsity Basketball. That's me. See, that's proof. Niggas don't even got them shits. These. This is the Northeast. This is from the Northeast Division. That was dominated by a, a level four jail called Dallas. Nothing but killers and, and the worst niggas up there. But they have one that and some superstar hoopers up there. I got um, a nigga through an alley oop. I got caught in an alley oop up there. They caught me. I get you get you get it too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna sit here like motherfuckers don't be wrecking. That's that that ain't it. Nah, this is real shit though. Uh, I got caught in the alley oop shit up there. A nigga threw threw, threw it through a half court joint and. They, they, it went up, you know what happens, boom, I was up under there, like, that's what happens, but, this is a trophy, you know what I'm saying, the jail that I went to, retreat, was a little jail, you know what I mean, real little spot, and they was like the punching bag of the Northeast East Division, they wasn't winning shit, you know what I mean, and they had some good players, they just wasn't, I came there, I was so nice, I was so fucking nice when I got there, I was like 18 or 19, like 18 or something like that. I was so fucking nice uh, that it created problems on the team. The coach had to come. They made they made me play. I had to play six man. You know what I'm saying? Because the point guard was there. He had life. You know what I'm saying? And I was just breezing through. I had a drug case. You know what I mean? And I was only going to be there for like probably like 15, 16 months. I was only going to be at this spot for like 15, 16 months. And... The coach called me in the office and told me, said, yo, nobody here is better than you. You're the baddest motherfucker here. Everybody know that. But I need you to play the six, man, because if we sit Jason down, no, Butter. It was a nigga named Butter. If we, no, Jason. If we sit Jason down, it's just going to fuck everything up, you know what I mean? Like, Because he's going to be here. He had been the point guard. He's doing time, he's doing life. He had been the point guard up there for years. And if I come and just take his position, it's just going to create a bad environment for him to go to the bench. So they asked me humbly to be the six man. But anyway, I played the six. I averaged like 19 off the bench. Just factual. You know what I'm saying? I averaged like 18 or 19 off the bench. I played point guard. And, um,. I was the fucking the, the icing on the cake. Like our team would be out there balling, you know what I'm saying? In the game, we pressed a lot. We used to press teams a lot. They would be out there getting it in, and two minutes into the game, our coach pulled a wild card. Me, throw me out there, bombs away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not just gonna just talk about the dunk and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Niggas know, you know what I mean? Niggas know. I don't just have this. I didn't just help Retreat take that title from Dallas. Dallas had won it like 12 years straight. You know what I'm saying? I, we beat them by 39 points too. I didn't just help Retreat get this. You dig what I'm saying? I won every one-on-one -on -one tournament for money. I won every one-on-one -on -one tournament. I won... I won every one-on-one -on -one tournament. I won every three-on-three -three tournament for money. My name, Jamil Lindsay, DF5973, you know what I mean? And like I said, this is just a relic. I'm going to look around and see if I can find some pictures because I was on a varsity team traveling basketball squad. One.